This is Delight Channel. I'm happy to have you here once again this week. Tim Ack is still my name. And what we are doing this week is to continue our conversation on change management. Last week, I introduced that concept and then we dug around it a bit so that you are clear that it's not a matter that you have a lot of choice about. You either change or you get changed. And um, we haven't done that now. We want to then get into talking about it in some depth. And what I want to do is to make a distinction between individual change and organizational change. So let's start with the organizational side. When we speak about change in the organizational setting, like I said last week, it could be internally triggered or externally triggered. When we say internally triggered, what do we mean? Maybe you are at a point where you really want to spread or you want to grow your PL or you want to grow your customer base or you want to diversify into other lines of business. These are things that are internally triggered. It's also possible that the change that you have to deal with will be externally triggered. A new technology completely disrupts the way you are doing your business. You have a regulation from government. You have a market situation. Some are macroeconomic. Some are peculiar to your industry, to your sector, that you just have to respond to. These are changes that you have to deal with. So either way, whether it's internal or it's external, how do you deal with change? What are the things that you need to worry about? when we speak about change management. The first thing I think I want to quickly touch on is the fact that you need to understand the journey of change management at the organizational level. When you have to deal with change at the organizational level, there are three distinct phases. The first phase is the unfreeze phase, meaning you let go of whatever rules, whatever boundaries, whatever controls you had about what you are trying to change. And then you move to the second phase, which is the change phase. This is where either in a structured manner, which is preferred, or sometimes in a completely unstructured manner, particularly when it is externally driven, you move to that phase where you then have to be experimenting, examining, trying things out until you find what looks like a solution and then you freeze it back. So those are the three broad phases. But there's something I want to bring out before I move from this point. If you don't change, you get changed. If you are not deliberate, you know, it used to be said in those days that if it is not broken, don't fix it. If you don't fix it now, somebody else will come and break it when you are not prepared. Therefore, if you do not want to find yourself scampering and dealing with a change phase where all hell is let loose and you are having to struggle to keep the both together, you are in a much better position when you are the one triggering the change. Not because you can be in 100% control of everything, but when you are deliberate to be open to change, to actively look for change, to embrace it, to even trigger it, to be the change agent. Like they said that the best way to predict the future is to create it. Instead of you resting on this existing business model, instead of you just celebrating the success that you have right now in the middle of that success you are creating a system of identify and deploy where you are constantly looking for how can it be better what is coming how does it affect me if you are not building your enterprise to be change ready to be change proof meaning that it is just Change is just a normal part of your DNA. Before you blink, if you are not careful, you may be out of business. And the whole landscape is full of businesses that were existing and today they are not. 
How many people here remember the story of Kodak? A few years ago as an undergraduate, Kodak was taking a big chunk of my money to buy film, to buy camera. I was a, I was a, I was a photography addict. I had two, like three, four cameras and um, I would just be taking pictures anywhere, anyhow. And today what has happened to Kodak? Kodak only now exists in patents. How? Because change happened. And the sad part of it was that the inventor or the first... Interesting. The invention of digital camera actually happened inside Kodak. And Kodak was offered the opportunity to bring that technology on board and promote it with its brand and it turned it down. Guess what? The rest, they say, is now history. If you do not want to end up like Kodak, now is the time. Don't hide behind one finger. Don't play the ostrich. Don't pretend. Don't be carried away with whatever success you're experiencing right now. Prepare for change. It will come. It is probably closer than you can imagine. So now is the time to deal with it. So we are spoken about the journey. It starts with the unfreeze. Then you have to deal with the change and then you try to freeze. Now, when you are dealing with change in your organization, there are certain steps that you need to take. There are certain steps you need to avoid. There are certain things you need to know. Unfortunately, I will not be able to go too far into that in this video. So you then have to make it a date with me next week because from that uh, next video, we will take another step further into this journey that we are taking in which we are exploring the concept of chain management. As usual, I can't thank you enough for being here. And um, before you know it, the year is going to end. So I challenge you to start looking inside. What are those things that you need to change? Have you reviewed the year? Do you have a plan for the new year? These are the vehicles through which change is delivered. Remember, if you don't change, you will get changed. I'll drop the anchor at this point this week. And I look forward to you sharing this as widely as you can, dropping your comments, joining our conversations, because all we are trying to do here is help you all along your journey so that very, very soon, you too can start living your dream. But until I see you next week, please don't ever forget that Tim Act is still my name and that all I'm trying to do is what? Make a little difference. See you next week and ciao!